What's up guys, with the recent relaunch of Rappelzi under Bore Ecosystems, a lot has happened. From its shutdown on the webs and servers, allegedly. <laughs> to the tropical paradise of new servers and new events. But hold on to your keyboards, because it's hurricane season. I am your boy Rusian. We are Broken Up Dead. And this is Rappelzi News. Alright, so let's start with launch events. We have plus 50 XP event, highest new player event, most XP gained, drop event and golden weeks. So what each of one of them entails? Alright, so plus 50% XP, y'all know what that means, get higher levels quick. Highest new player event, if you create the brand new character after the 22nd when Boar servers went live, you're competing for $50 worth on the cash shop. Now, this is any characters created after the 22nd and it's gonna end on the 20th of October. Most XP gained. Now, that goes, it's pretty much the same thing, still $50 on cash shop, but it's for any characters. It doesn't mean, it doesn't matter if that's a brand new character. All right, so the drop events. So across Gaia, you have a chance to get Bora tokens. Bora tokens can be exchanged at Commander Isla uh, in the south of Catan. Now, let's talk about this event a little bit more in depth. So, pretty much one of the issues I found in this event is you get one price per token. Now, the drops compared to webs and coins they seem to be dropped by half and the reason why I say that so I create new characters I went through all the dungeons and I tried to get board tokens the best place I found to actually get those tokens was at circus now while in webs and coins you used to get anywhere around 5 to 10 per run in the circus board tokens I have seen anything between two and five, five being the top uh, I was able to get in one run. So I'm not saying it's bad, but one of the main issues I found is when you exchange, and it's something that for brand new players, not so bad, but for older players, it may be an issue. Most of the price are uh, plus one to five cards. Um, but it's not so bad, but within like a couple of hundred, um, of those tokens, I really got maybe a cup of 50% uh, HP potions. Um, I got a one seven day um, hidden village pass. I didn't get anything of the major prizes, so I, I'm just saying like the, the, the drop table for those is not the greatest. But still, there's other things they're worth in there, you know? Like for example, the Gold Weeks event, uh, every hour that you're logged in the server, you get one ticket. Those tickets you can usually get around one to four um, of the actual golden tickets. And you can exchange them for some pretty decent prizes. Uh, now you cannot actually do like you used to and put them in your warehouse so if you're not playing with the same character you can just trade between characters put them all together and do exchanges uh, that's character locked it's still okay uh, the best thing is people are putting buffs in the server what is something that you exchange for 20 tickets so it's pretty good in the most when you have a plus 50 percent xp event that's helping people to move up the ladder, uh, get their characters higher level. The only problem is I think people are going to start reaching a plateau where there won't be new content for them. 
It may help them to get some equipment for new characters, but that's pretty much about it. But again, I'm not complaining about plus 45% damage and stuff like that. You also, uh, every couple of hours on the event NPC, you're actually able to exchange uh, some of those tickets for things like EPRO, um, Ancient Cubes and stuff like that. What probably gonna crowd the servers more than it needs to. But hey, uh, this event's going all the way until the 20th of October. Not so bad, if you plan to start this game you have never played, that's probably the best time and you may not have a chance like that for a very long time. All right, so before we go into talking about the launch issues, uh, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and hit that notifications bell. So it will provide me the ability to keep making videos like this and bring some of the news about Verpelzi and other games to you guys. All right, so let's talk about the issues. Going back to the 22nd, when the servers went live. So we had a couple of issues and that had to do with delays on the launch. Basically, the main reason for that was some security issues. Uh, what is pretty normal, um, I worked in the past with a uh, rollover, um, rollout of uh, new systems. And I'll be honest, that's the most common thing to, ha to happen. Uh, it lasted an extra six hours plus and the only thing it created was a huge meme war at Discord. What was pretty much fun, so not much complaint on that. Alright, so one of the main issues that people start having right after launch was the Google login. So, and, and let me just say, what happened was people tried to log into their accounts and they're not able to. So, why did that happen? Well, it seems that Bora likes to use Internet Explorer. What is a browser that not even Microsoft has been using anymore? But, that created issues with the Google account. Now, it seems to be an issue that was fixed on the last downtime that they had about a couple of days ago. So, if you guys still having some issues with the Google login, the company has stated that what you're gonna need to do is just hit the Google Plus uh, icon for you to log directly into your Google account before you actually go and log into the game. So that should fix all the problems. Uh, one thing that some people have been experiencing and they experienced since the beginning was an issue with me was trying to log into the game and you had an alternate account being logged in. What you have to do to fix this, it didn't work with everybody, but with most people, is open Internet Explorer. Now remember, Internet Explorer is not default anymore. What you have to do is go on the quick bar on Windows 10, for example, and just write Internet Explorer. That's going to open this up. Go to google.com, check which account you have logged in at this time, and if you have not the account that actually holds your main account or if you want to play with your alternate account just log off, log in the account you want and you should be set. Now a couple of issues also arose and that probably may be on the user side and it was a couple of people in game that I found that they're from Europe and they got repatriated to the US servers. So. <laughs> Uh, some of the things they stated was they were not being able to download the uh, European server um, game. So I don't know what to say. I do think that's uh, on the user side. And if you, any of you guys are having the same type of issues or those issues are not fixed, leave in the comments. And if I hear of any fixes, I will leave in the description below. And another issue that is also on the player side, and but that was really expected. Uh, I told you guys in the last video were people that actually lost the transfer window. I I did see some people trying to request ways to perhaps the company be able to, you know, still transfer their accounts 
Um, I really don't understand why not, because it seems that all this data was actually passed to the company. And the reason why I say that is because some people try to acquire names of characters that have not been used for a long time and that did not make the transfer, but those names are still locked, what means all this data is on the new servers. So I don't know, maybe the company gonna find a way so people can still recover those accounts, but can't really promise anything. And all right, so there's another thing that some people were complaining on the Discord. Um, I heard the explanation by moderators and it has to do with cash up sales. So cash up special sales right now seems to be on hold and it's understandable. The, the new company still have a lot of things that they're trying to iron out for the players. So we may have to wait a little bit on that. But that's all right, you'll survive that. But now the real storm season is coming to this tropical paradise. Seems that the major issue that we're experiencing right now after this rollover is phishing scams. So, Bora has released an announcement requesting players not to visit external web websites. They're not part of the way to beat Bora domains that require login infos. Now, they do not mean that it cannot go online shopping, binge watch series at Netflix, or spending time with Tatiana or Cinnamon in your website of choice. This is mainly for Rapelzi related content websites outside of way to beat Bora or yours truly, youtube.com slash broken not dead. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe, and hit that notifications bell. Also, let me know if you guys had any issues with the rollover that I didn't cover, any things that you want to say about that change, you like it, you don't, something you want me to discuss more in the channel. All right, leave just in the comments, let me know. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope you guys have a great week coming up. And as always, I'll see you in the game.